everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 12th chapter, The Israel Came Out From Egypt, Exodus 13 to 15. God's people came out of Egypt. The Israel were out of Egypt with God's help. God let Moses lead the Israel. They knew God was with them. God stayed with them in the clouds. So, Israel people were out of Egypt because of God's help. They could come out from Egypt. And God led Moses to lead the Israel. God stayed with them in the clouds. God, were, God was always with them. God showed them where to go. God showed a pillar of fire every night. So, in night, it is cold. So... God let the fire to go with the Israel. So every night, God was with them with a fire pillar. And also God told where they should go. After the people of Israel left, Paro changed his mind. He followed the Israel with his soldiers. The Red Sea was in front of Israel. They couldn't cross the sea. They couldn't return to Egypt. Paro and his army were following them. They were going to kill God's people. So, after people of this trial let them part of change mind again sorry it's my brother so again they changed Israel people And they were going to kill Israel people. But like in front of them there were the Red Sea and behind there were the Egypt. Egypt soldiers. So like they were wondering what should they do. Moses said, Don't be afraid. God will save us. God said to Moses, raise your staff over the sea. The pillar of clouds stayed between Israel and Pharaoh's army. When Moses raised the staff, it came the path to see to the other side of the sea. The Israel followed the path and crossed the Red Sea. So, God said to Moses to raise his staff, so he did, and like, he parted the Red Sea. It is a miracle what God has showed. And the pillar of cloud was saved by the Pharaoh's army, so they could not see properly. Yes, so Moses and his Israel people crossed the Red Sea. Paro and his army were following them. When the Israel crossed the Red Sea, Moses raised the stuff over the sea again. The Moses raised the sea, swept Paro's army out. 
away. God was with the Israel. So also Paro's army were chasing them. So after it all Israel people has came out, Moses raised his staff again. So All of Paro's army died. God's people were free. They were not slave anymore. God, Moses, and the Israel sang and danced joyfully. They praised God. So they are no, not slave anymore. They are free. So they are very happy. Chapter 13, for Food from Heaven. Let's read Exodus 15-16. to 16. I am thirsty, said the little girl. I am too, said the father. We don't have any water. We are not the slave of Egypt, but we don't have any water. The Israel traveled in the desert for many days. They were thirsty. They complained to Moses. So when they were going a long, long time, the water was not plenty. So they didn't have any water now. So they started to complain to Moses. The Israel kept on going, Water! Water! They shout with joy. So when they complained, and they were going, and they were watered, the people ran to the water, but they got angry. They found the water at Mara, but the water was too bitter to drink. God said to Moses, throw two, throw a piece of wood into the water. So they ran to water and drank money. But they're angry again because the water was too bitter to drink. So God uh, Moses asked to God, What should I do now? And God said to Moses, throw a piece of wood into the water. Yes Lord, Moses said what God said, guess what? Water became sweet. People were amazed with God and drank the water happily. I am hungry, said the little boy. We're also hungry too, but we don't have nothing to eat, said the mother. The Israel began to complain again. We're served Serving to death, Moses prayed to God again. Moses said, God will give you food. So now they complained with the food because they didn't have enough food to eat. God sent them food like drew from heaven every morning. People called the food mania. They didn't know what does it was, but it was like a cookie with honey. God fed lot the Israel every day. So they complained and complained. So God gave the food. It mania. It is like a honey cookie. Yes, today I read the Bible story, did I enjoy it? And next time I will read another good story. And next year, next time, bye!